his head. I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Israelites, if you allow the Most High to renew your minds, you will begin to view the world in a new way. Instead of complaining on how unfair life is towards you, you will begin to see the scriptures being fulfilled. Remember, the Most High said that all things written must be fulfilled. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. As we end this series of the Israelites and strangers, the Most High revealed to me how the scriptures are being fulfilled right before our eyes. Some Israelites can perceive the times we live in and know exactly what is happening, while most Israelites remain asleep. If Israelites can truly discern how the scriptures are being fulfilled, they would not complain about their present situations. Some Israelites cannot look past the mistreatment. Those Israelites' focus is on the flesh. The scriptures reveal to us that we cannot please the Most High in the flesh. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. If you continue to operate in low vibrations, the flesh, all you will see is discrimination, racism, and hatred towards you. You will begin to perceive what is happening to you as unfair, while some Israelites cannot comprehend what is happening and give up. Giving up is exactly what the kingdom of darkness wants from you. By giving up, you give the kingdom of darkness the opportunity to pursue you and deceive you into submitting to their will for your life. In addition, disconnect you from the Most High. If Israelites truly understand how the scriptures are being fulfilled, instead of complaining, they would be repenting, making it their purpose to find out how to be set free from bondage. The scripture said, whom the Most High set free is free indeed. In addition, through knowledge will the just be delivered. The Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. But through knowledge shall the just be delivered. You have to elevate in your journey to overcome the kingdom of darkness. You cannot fight Satan with Satan's resources and human agents. You are only fooling yourself. It is not wise to ask the very people holding you in bondage for help. Just as Yeshua explained to the disciples, if Satan cast out Satan, his kingdom would fall. Likewise, Israelites, asking your enemies for help to overthrow their kingdom will not work. The heathens want to rule forever. Therefore, they will not help you. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? You will need to go to your Elohim for help. Do not rely on the very people the kingdom of darkness is using to oppress you. The Most High said a time is coming when you will no longer refer to him as Baal, nor seek your enemies for help, but you will turn to the Most High. And it shall be at that day, saith the Lord, that thou shalt call me Ishai, and shalt call me no more Balai. For I will take away the names of Balaam out of her mouth, and they shall no more be remembered by their name. The Most High revealed to us throughout the scriptures what would take place to his people due to their disobedience. It is important, Israelites, to shift your focus from the flesh to the spirit. That way you will succeed in your journey. In addition, you will see the scriptures come alive. The Most High said his people would be mistreated and call all sorts of bywords in all the nations they were scattered to. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Being hated by all nations and the heathens calling you by words is scripture being fulfilled. Israelites do not retaliate by hating the heathens, nor look at this in a negative perspective. That is only keeping you in bondage. Praise the Most High in the process and ask the Most High to intervene in your situation. As you mature spiritually, you will begin to know how to handle your enemies. Attacking your enemies in the flesh will push you further into bondage. While you remain in bondage, your enemies will continue to elevate just as the scriptures state. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. 
The heathens and the strangers are not elevating because they are superior or stronger than you are. Satan has deceived them into believing that because they have money, power, and fame, they are blessed and highly favored. Due to your downfall gave the heathens the opportunity to elevate. The heathens' temporary wealth and power belongs to you. The scriptures reveal to us that the wealth of the heathens belong to the righteous. In addition, what is seen is temporary while the unseen is eternal. In the physical world, the heathens are wealthy, but in the unseen world, the spirit, they are poor. The spirit world is where it matters. Soon the tables will turn. The Most High reassure you, Israelites, when he told you in the book of Revelations that he is aware of your conditions. However, Yah said in the same passage that you are spiritually rich. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Your oppression and poverty is temporary because that is what is seen. Your wealth and royal crown awaits you in the unseen world. Soon the Most High will restore your royal position. It is important to the kingdom of darkness to keep you in sin. As long as Satan keep you in sin, you are in rebellion, and the Most High do not reward those who transgress his laws. Because of the disconnection between you and your Elohim, your enemies appear to be stronger and powerful. Sin separate you from the Most High, and Yah will not hear your prayers. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Strangers, by you calling the Israelites nigger and the many bywords your people and nation have for the Israelites, is scripture being fulfilled. Most of you do not realize what you're doing. The heathens believe they are wise, yet they do not know they are fulfilling scripture. Due to their pride, Satan succeeds in blinding their eyes. Strangers, your people and nation are not superior because they are a superpower nation. The Elohim of Israel appoint kings, presidents, and whomever he choose. In the same manner, Yah will dethrone and overthrow kingdoms as he please. The heart of man is in the hands of the Most High. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. The heathens and the strangers need to humble themselves. If you can look at what's happening in our world today, you will see the scriptures being fulfilled. Strangers, you have a role to play just as the Israelites have a role to play. Both sides have vessels of honor and vessels of dishonor. Many strangers perceive because the Israelites ordained by the Most High are decoding the scriptures by the Holy Spirit, the spotlight that is shining on the heathen's diabolical behavior are exposing them. The strangers feel the truth being revealed about your nations and people is hate speech, racism, and discrimination from the Israelites. No strangers, it is not racism, prejudice, or discrimination. It is the words of the Elohim of Israel. What is done in darkness will become known, just as the scriptures state. But nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. How long did you believe the Most High was going to allow your nations and people to sweep their sins under the rug? How long do you believe the Most High was going to tolerate your people casting their wickedness on His people? Do you believe the sins of your fathers will go unpunished? Ignoring what your people and nations have done in the past and present towards the people of the Most High is not going to solve anything. Nor is it the way to ask for forgiveness and repent. You should know that would not work or satisfy the wrath of the Most High. America have been refusing to address their biased system it operates on, and due to America's negligence, the nation will continue to deteriorate. America will never be great because it was never great to begin with. America and those who support this nation has blood on its hands. The purpose of revealing the Israelites and the heathens' iniquity to bring both sides to repentance. Without repentance, you will perish. Revealing the iniquity of the heathens is not hate speech, racism, and discrimination. It is the medicine needed to bring healing, growth, and unity. Do not let the kingdom of darkness deceive you into believing it is hate. A kingdom or a household divided will not stand. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand.
It does not bring joy to the Most High's heart when his creation perish. The Most High said to welcome the strangers. The Most High command his people to love the sincere strangers, not the wicked heathens, the real strangers that have joined themselves with his people. There was never a time the Israelites did not have strangers living among them. It was common for our people to have strangers everywhere they traveled. The fact that some of our people today refuse to accept that they will be strangers in the coming kingdom stems from their jealousy. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High will welcome the strangers to provoke his people to jealousy. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Most Israelites in the awakening did not know the low tolerance they have to accept the strangers was prophesied by the Most High. The jealousy the Most High placed on his people caused many Israelites to reject the sincere strangers. I have had multiple Israelites dispute that the strangers are Israelites. If the strangers were Israelites, then the Most High would know them. I have had Israelites try to use scriptures to support that there will be no strangers in the coming kingdom. When you operate in the flesh, that will cause you to become selfish. Be careful, Israelites, that you do not give room to unclean spirits seeking a covenant. The kingdom of darkness only need an opportunity to place a stronghold on your life. That stronghold will cause you to stumble. If you do not address the wicked covenant, you will remain stagnant. And if you do not deal with the sin, it will cause you to miss the kingdom. The purpose of the strangers is to serve the Most High and to work for the Israelites. During the time of our ancestors, the strangers that live among our people were not mistreated. Although they were servants to the Israelites, you would have not known they were servants because they were treated like family. Our ancestors did not reject the strangers. Our ancestors did not bully the strangers. In this present heathen reign, there is a clear division between the heathens and the Israelites. During the peak of slavery, the slaves dwell in slave houses. They could not use the same bathroom nor attend the same school as the heathens. The slaves were beaten and raped. It were given the leftover food that the heathens did not want. The slaves were not treated like family. There is a major difference between the Israelites having servants and the heathens enslaving the Israelites today. In the awakening, I noticed many Israelites wants to retaliate by returning the same evil to the strangers that the heathens have done to our people. Israelites and strangers, the Most High's kingdom is of righteousness, not wickedness. The scripture said vengeance is for the Most High. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. There is a reason the Most High said the wrath of man do not produce the kind of righteousness that Yah requires. But the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Israelites, it is the Most High that will judge all the heathens that mistreat his people. If you are plotting evil towards anyone, you are not of the Most High. Let the Most High deal with the heathens and strangers you feel do not belong. Shift your focus to yourself. Make sure you are part of the remnant that will inherit the kingdom. Do not let the kingdom of darkness deceive you into believing the Most High will allow you to act wickedly towards the strangers he reserved for himself. Many Israelites are confusing the sincere strangers with the wicked. The wicked will not inherit the kingdom. However, all the heathens who have separated from their people and followed the Elohim of Israel will inherit the kingdom. It will become our possessions. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. If there is no strangers in the coming kingdom, whom will the Israelites possess and who will do the work? The scripture said that we would rule over our oppressors. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Israelites, who are the people that is oppressing us today? Those nations and their people, the Israelites will possess in the coming kingdom and rule over in righteousness. Remember, the wicked will perish. However, all the heathen strangers will be servants. Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. Moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begat in your land, 
and they shall be your possession. And ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen for ever. But over your brethren, the children of Israel, ye shall not rule one over another with rigor. The coming kingdom is not just for the Israelites. Strangers from all nations will be there. Not too many Israelites can accept that. Some Israelites feel that strangers do not belong and do not deserve a place in the coming kingdom. I will say this to you. It is not your place to determine who will be in the kingdom. Both Israelites and strangers need to repent. For all have sinned and fallen short of the Most High's glory. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. As you continue to mature in your walk, your priorities will change. You will not allow the spirit of jealousy or any unclean devil hold you back from inheriting the coming kingdom. You have to fight back smart with the Most High leading you. This series on the Israelites and strangers is necessary to clear up the confusion the kingdom of darkness planted in the awakening. In addition to stop all the evil doctrines circulating the internet, Strangers, it is important that you understand your role. You do not have to be an Israelite to inherit the kingdom or to serve the Most High. You must have truth in you with no bias. Do not bring religion into the awakening. All the doctrines that stems from the pagan church, you must leave at the pagan church. The Most High seek for his people to worship him in spirit and in truth. The Israelites are the chosen people that the Most High selected before the foundation of this earth was laid. The Jewish people are not Israelites. Judaism is a religion. All forms of religion comes from the kingdom of darkness. Unity is what we need to overcome the kingdom of darkness. Israelites and strangers, do not allow Satan to distract you by causing you to debate and fight each other. Israelites, you will know the sincere strangers by their fruits. Always remember, you have to test their spirit. Do not skip the important step of testing anyone's spirit. In due time, their behavior will reveal the kind of fruit he or she is producing. You do not have to deceive the strangers to influence them to serve the Most High. The Most High will draw whom he chooses to himself by the Holy Spirit. It is the Most High doing the work through his servants. The Holy Spirit is revealing truth to us, not the person in front of you. Israelites, do not give your inheritance to the other nations. You are a special people to the Most High. Despite all the oppression, you are still here and the Most High is with you. It is important in the awakening to seek the Most High. Yah will lead you on your journey. Always remember, Israelites and strangers, if you're going to serve the Most High, you must serve Him His way. The Most High have a purpose for all who were called and chosen. Let the Most High's perfect peace that surpass all understanding be with you. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. <laughs> 